Hey everybody, we're back in Planet Coaster with the Nutty Professor's Power Coils. It's a new blueprint I just released and I'm going to show you in this short video how to put this thing in your park. Quite impressive. It has two rods in it. What we're going to do is we're going to jump over into a new map screen and I'm going to show you how to put this together so you can have it in your park. Alright, we're back in a new map here <clears throat> where I pulled both the pieces from the uh, blueprint inventory. I, I did that because there's some um, blueprints I don't want exposed to public view that are coming out pretty soon. Really simple for planning part A. You just grab it with the multi-tool and there's a sign on the front that says buried just below ground level and that's pretty accurate so just follow that sign instructions and you should have it just like that. Oh, before I do that, I want to show you there's a, uh, there's a blue border on the inside of the um, water wall. That blue border is there because the you're going to dig the ground. I'm going to show you in a minute. You're going to dig the ground uh, right at this bottom wall level or just below. That blue border is there to let you know that when you're pushing the terrain down that when you hit that blue border you only have this much space to go between the bottom of the wall and the blue border. So it's just there for a caution to don't push too hard on the terrain or you're just going to go over bounds. Anyways, um, so let's go back and lay this back down and hit so before you put the overskin on you want to go ahead and make your water hole so you're going to take the terrain tool I don't go more than 30% and 9M um, I wouldn't recommend that because it just pushes too much um, you're going to push the uh, use the push and push your ground down towards so you get the border there to let you know hey you got the bottom of the wall coming up so you want to kind of have an even flow all the way around once you do that you get a hole all you got to do is take the level and start at that hole and level it out. So you want to go all the way around putting in the water <clears throat> you want the water level to be at the bottom of this <clears throat> ride wall or just above this ride wall. I found the easiest way to do that is take your pointer, mouse pointer put it at the outer edge of the top wall, top floor rather, and hit it from there. Usually when you do that, it puts the water level just above the bottom of this wall. Okay, for putting part B over part A. There are four sets of blocks, red, blue, yellow, green, on each part. Part A, the ride skin block, goes in between the Part B two block set. Um, when you first lay this out to make things easier for you, you may want to just line up your blueprint with the uh, Part A, your Part B blueprint with Part A just so they're on the same plane it makes it easier what you're going to do is you're going to grab that oh before I do that let me show you if you move this over and you think you have it lined up and you hit check mark and go with it and you find out it's off I'm going to show you what to grab you can actually grab it and realign it select your multi-tool you're going to grab all the piping. There are like five sets of different pipes. 
that's the main one and each each side has its own pipe set hit control and grab all your piping one more all right you're going to grab the letters on each side and then you're going to grab these electrical transformer boxes what what it's supposed to be which has the shelf unit on each side then you're going to grab the glass pieces once you grab all those with your multi select tool you can realign if you put it in the wrong place okay so we're going to move it over And you want the blocks to line up. You can hit your check mark and place it in place. The piping should be on the outside of the wall. The pipes should not be inside the wall nor should there be space between the pipes and the wall itself. So you can check, that's another way to check it. Just kind of turn it around and go all the way around and make sure your piping lined up with the wall. When you do your pathing, if you turn your angle snap on it will be a lot easier. It's pretty simple. One thing to bear in mind is your entrance to the rides is on one corner, the exits are on another corner. On the entrance side, when you run this path down, instead of running it on the inside flooring, you may want to run it on the outside of the flooring. That way, when you do your uh, entrance queue, you'll have room to bring that cue down and you can bring it all the way down, turn it around and go out that way, or you can just come off the ride and go straight down and have it have the entrance where the shops are. Running the path on the other side, it does not matter which you're on, the outer or the inner floor. And that is how you put together the Nutty Professor's power coils.